pretty much going to go through this for the rest of the time. Well, I like to rest, yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, I like to play. The yeah. fact that we're, we just we just want to keep playing, and that's the whole key. And I think um, at the end of the day, that's that's more important. Uh, you know, the other option is, is going home and not doing anything. So uh, in our in our minds, let's just keep playing. Doc, any thought about maybe switching Ray and, 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 and Mikhail to start of games or anything like that? Or are you no, stay no, we're going to stay with the way we are. Yeah. Just talk about the difference in the heat in the last three games without, you know, obviously, uh, you know, they've really cranked it up, those two guys. Well, yeah, they're, in some ways, you know, obviously Bosch makes them better. Uh, but in some ways you can say they're more dangerous because now uh, those 15 shots that Bosch had, they're going to wait in LeBron. Uh, so in, in some ways, they have the ball more. They're more aggressive. Uh, it, it almost activated them to be more aggressive, which uh, puts a lot of stress on your defense. Dot, maybe besides points, what are the difference between LeBron's triple doubles and what Rondo does in the triple double? Well, I don't know if there's a big difference. The power of LeBron makes a difference. Um, you know, the points are, are, are the biggest ones. Um, you know, LeBron's, uh, a lot of his assists come off of him being double teamed. Uh, Rondo's come off of him creating plays through drives and then through transition. Uh, so they get them the same way because it's with the pass. I think they're created differently. Rondo is, is created with his speed. Uh, LeBron's is created more because he's being double teamed. Can you see Ray get